This is my LEGO city. It took me three years to build this and today, today we are going to be destroying this LEGO city. No, no, not like that. Today I will destroy my LEGO city and build everything again. I have five hours to do this or else. I am going to try and build the perfect LEGO city. LEGO released this new base plate that allows you to have more customization. So let's remove the cars, but first we need also to remove the modulars. I have to carefully remove approximately $4,000 worth of LEGO here. If I drop this, well, time to say goodbye to my wallet. But removing the modulars allowed me to take some nice pictures for the thumbnail. Removing the modulars was painful. With most modulars removed, it's time to do something that's even more painful. Clean everything. Because LEGO is like a dust magnet, you pretty much have dust everywhere. I used this vacuum to clean the tables and then I spent more time cleaning each modular. But there are some better tools out there to clean your Lego just like Jank Bricks showcased here. Don't use something like this. I'm mostly going to be using hand brushes and a small vacuum cleaner. That looks pretty good. Just like clicking that subscribe button guys. How to build a LEGO city. The goal of most LEGO fans is to have a LEGO city. I showcase how you can have a mini LEGO city in the past, but a good LEGO city needs some things. For instance, transportation, minifigures, the people that live in the city, roads, and zoning the buildings. The good thing is that LEGO already makes some of these, however, how you lay them out is important. The old LEGO road plates were ok, the problem is that for me they were too large, meaning that the roads were so big. These new road plates have smaller roads for instance, allowing you to build one way streets for instance. Many LEGO fans are into mills plates for instance, which are base plates that are integrated via modules, meaning you could theoretically interchange them. They are great if you want to do a lot of detail and change everything quickly for instance. In terms of terrain, you can even have some depressions, no, not that kind of depression, I mean like a hole. So mills seem like they are great, except say goodbye to your wallet and your hands. First, LEGO modulars need to be converted to mills, so you have to disassemble the first floor and then reassemble it onto plates instead of base plate, and then elevate them with bricks underneath. And those bricks can get expensive over time. You also need a lot, and I do mean a lot of plates, and putting them together can be painful for your hands. Okay. So the decision is up to you, it can take some time to build meals, but if I know many of you guys don't have the money for meals, so I came up with the DZ semi-tangible unitary design integrated on system or DZ studios for short. Just use the height of the new road plates. The sidewalks will be 3 studs tall for instance, but the modulars have sidewalks so you save a lot of money with that. Speaking of modulars, they are lower than the road plates but there is an easy fix for that. Just add some base plates beneath, don't use the old road plates for reasons I will showcase later. You can also get LEGO compatible base plates that are not the LEGO brand but are cheaper because, I mean, you are not looking directly at them. The new layout of the city will allow for more mixed-use buildings and create a safe space for minifigures, theoretically. The city also need a landmark, I plan to build a cathedral someday, so let's build the roads. I forgot to buy enough roads plates for this series, building them was quite quick, I also added some bike lanes, you can do bike lanes whatever color you want, my city has red bike lanes for instance, however this piece with the bike logo is quite rare and it has only appeared in this color as of this video. However, green is also a good color. I like when there is a separation between the bike path and the road. For transportation, the city will have light rail or as people call it, 
trams. <laughs> this was one of the reasons I decided to switch systems, because with the new road plates we can have tram tracks attached to them. My tram is somewhat small. I also have this red car trolley. This will allow me to finally create the perfect city. After thinking of a new layout, it was time to move everything back in. Putting the modules back again is harder than removing them. I was super tired at this point. I was still dedicated at building the perfect Lego city. However, I made a big mistake. We'll catch up with that later on. The most painful part was tiling everything. Because I decided to build a tramway, I ended up with a shortage of grey tiles. I recommend putting grass in the middle of the trams to save on tiles. Because LEGO doesn't give you enough tiles, so you need to brick order them online like I did and even after buying some on brick link most of my stock is gone. I'm still missing some bricks. If you don't want a speed bump, every meter in your LEGO city you're going to have the same problem that I have. Another thing is that this sign that comes in this set says 50, which either in kilometers or mile is too much for a downtown main street. I haven't built street lights yet. Then, the part of the renovation was complete, so let's tour the city. The plaza is now an area of commerce. The streets around this square can also be closed for markets and food trucks. I put mixed-use buildings from my How to Build a Lego City for Cheap video here. They give a sense of place to the city. The new public transportation system allows minifigures to move around the center. This gives the city a sense of safety, even if crime is still prevalent, because this is LEGO City. Hey! One thing that changed a lot this space is in the middle here, which will someday be home to a church, maybe. I also decided to redo the LEGO train station, I made some modification. Now it has new tile work, a modern ticket machine, a new restaurant that also got some upgrades. However, about that mistake. I put a road plate beneath the modulars instead of regular base plates. This made the modulars sink and bend because of the space in the middle. I wanted to build the perfect LEGO city, but I realized that's not possible. I let my ego take over me and well, I had to remove the modulars again and put them again without the plates underneath. Also, my hands are in pain after this. The city will also get some future updates like a palace slash castle on the top of this mountain, a historic center with college. I also have space for three more modulars in the future. Other plans I'm not too sure, but I would like to do include a high-speed train station or an underground train station. But what do you want to see from my LEGO city? I will be accepting suggestions. Just like you should click this video to find out more about building a LEGO city.